Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. John Baker, Fat Guy Golf. Today we have the front nine at Briarwood for you. Back nine will be posted in probably a week or so. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you didn't know yet, you can follow me on TikTok at Fat Guy Golf. Should be, yeah. At Fat Guy Golf. Instagram is at The Fat Guy Golf. I don't know why there's a the. It happened that way. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Briarwood, Broadview Heights, Ohio. 5,700 yards from the white. Uh, 69, 117 slope and rating. Not too crazy, not too tough. Hey, boys. Hope you're having a good day. Here we go. Got some fat guy golf for you. 375-yard par four. Goes downhill at the end of the fairway into some water. So I try to swing easy. It's 640 in the morning. That's why it looks like it's dark. I had to get out early to get the round in. Left it out to the right a little bit, right? Didn't follow through. Was scared of driving it, too, like hitting it too well. In the rough, have this little window to the green. You can see the green right back there. Grab a hybrid, downhill lie, oh, really weird situation with the ball a little bit, and I can't see it. So when I hit it, I think it's perfect. I'm, I think I'm just nailed it. Couldn't find the ball, had to walk around for five minutes, find it on the other side of the green on the hill. Didn't get all the way there like I hoped. So I think I'm a little winded and gas there from, you know, trying to find my ball and I don't take my time. I hit a terrible chip. This putt all the way downhill, super fast. We got this coming back for, I think, yeah, for bogey. All right, and it's it's a rough start. 6.30 in the morning, we're gonna take a double to start. Now this hole, number two at Briarwood, used to be a par five, they moved up the tees because it was a train wreck back there like 50 yards before that. So now it's a short par four, right? First shot's fine. Left it out to the right a little bit, rolled into the rough. Hit a terrible second shot. Couldn't go worse. Well, it could. It could have been out of bounds because there's houses over there. We come up. I got to stand in the bushes to hit this. I'm, I'm, it's not, this is just not how you want to have your third what shot. All right, now we're, we're getting mad. We got to hit a really good uh, pitch shot here. You see the rhythm there? Kept it. Kept everything slow, accelerated through the ball. Sometimes it works. Yep, sometimes it works. So we got a putt here to save bogey. One time. There it is. That's a good bogey save. All right. Third hole, par three, 152 yards. Holes a little downhill. I hit this ball, and I'm thinking I'm pin-seeking. I'm staring at it and watch it hop off the back of the green. Can't believe it. Just again, another bad pitch shot. <laughs> so a couple of second shots I've hit so far that I thought were amazing and they weren't. I'm having a really hard time with my distance. Uh, with a little bit of the added muscle, a little more fat loss, everything's just, I haven't dialed it in. Sometimes I swing through, I fire the hips and everything's great. Sometimes I don't, right? Long bogey putt here. Got to make it. Ooh, we're, cur we're curling in some bogey saves. Okay, so we go to four over on number four. This is a uh, nice size par five. 490 yards. Perfect drive. Right, we got OB on the left. We got a disaster on the right. It's a perfect drive. Second shot. This video was like a minute long at first because I wanted to go for it. 242, I needed 210 to carry the water. I wanted to crush a three wood, but it's still at 7 a.m. It's a little damp. I uh, I grabbed the three hybrid because I need 180, 185 up there to give me a perfect uh, chip shot, pitch shot up to the green. Oh, that's so boring and safe. I hate it. Oh. Yeah, I hated myself for it. So now we got this 60 yard pitch shot. I grab the 56, I think, and just give it a half swing. Layup, middle of the green, <laughs> two putt for par, blah, blah, I'm blah. such a jerk sometimes. So now we're thinking two putt par, right? I pulled it, I wanted to, I've been over to the right right side of that green before and it's a nightmare. A and, oh, this putt was awful too. Okay, so. <laughs> and I thought I would have two putt par. <laughs> so much for the easy two putt par, right? So we got this one, it's uphill. The whole time I thought here is just blast this in. It's it's a par putt, I need a par. I take a lot of time looking at it. I'm just visualizing the speed. 
bang. Little mini fat guy fist pump. It's a big par. Putting has been muy bueno today. So those are three putts so far that have been very nice. Short, kind of drivable par four. I, I gotta hit it low and hard enough where it bounces off a hill and rolls down there. You see how it's downhill. So I hit a really good drive. I got another, you know, 50 yard pitch shot here. I grabbed the same shot. I'm just thinking in my head, I'm hitting the same shot I just hit. You know, take a really good divot, plenty of spin on it, sticks on the green, pins in the back, it's fine. I go, I get, I got, I got to clean up my ball marks, right? I might, not my ball marks, my divots. So I go up there and I grab that stuff because I'm not a jerk. All right, another birdie putt. How many birdie putts did we get from the big guy? We got to, you know, it's nice having a birdie putt every once in a while. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have saw I opened up a, a round the other day with a, a birdie. So that's a fine first putt. We'll take it every time, right? Tap in par. Kind of more than a tap in, but we're having enough confidence right now where that's a tap in. So we're plus four going to number six. It's not a bad round. We hit a terrible drive. Thank God it was a pool cut. Thank God it had that cut spin because if it didn't, if it was just a hook and a draw and all that kind of stuff, we're in the woods, we're dropping two, we're in three. Found it up there in the mess. Hit number two. Had to hit a little punch draw to keep it under the trees and the holes to the left. Just spun it a little too much. Pulled it into the bunker. This is a... Uh, a little tough bunker shot. The heart, the sand's a little hard, so I don't treat it like a bunker shot. I treat it like a, a pitch, you know, so I'm not trying to grab any sand. I'm just trying to get it out there cleanly. So we have a par putt. Again, we can't ask for that much. That's a good putt. All right. And the thing on these, I'm just focusing on the hole. I'm focusing on the back of the cup. I'm not leaving much wiggle room. So that's another bogey. We're plus five, we're going to seven. We've avoided disaster so far. Another short par four, but it's a really hard dog leg right. So the max distance off the tee is like 160. You can try to go over the trees. In my 20 years of playing this course, I've never done it. Um, so I just, I grab a hybrid and I just toss it out there. Second shot's 139 yards in. I hit it so bad you don't even get a ball tracer. It's a low bullet that just rides the fairway, rides the green, hops over the back of the green into that rough hit another bad pitch shot so i feel like i'm playing terrible i don't even think i realize at this point i'm only plus five because we're making those long bogey putts right so long putt for par here another fine roll right we're keeping the distance there we're giving ourselves a chance to avoid the three putt gotta knock this in just solid solid first putt not missing those little five you know three to five footers so we go to number eight. We're six over. No disaster so far. No OB. We'll save that for the back nine. Hold on. Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> so we're 121 away here. I feel good about this club. I got a... This used to be a seven iron, so I grab an eight iron. And I didn't realize it at the time, but I think I'm right at the pin. I think I'm oh, 10 feet. Really good. Looks like... 10 feet if you didn't notice there on my finish though i never finished my swing i left it way short or what is that 25 feet short and then it's uphill Maybe and i don't think i felt it being uphill so i left it short i didn't read the break really well it was just a really bad first putt the things we've avoided so far right so here's a putt for par and that's it you can't have a terrible first putt you got to put it within five feet so I just, I think I got down on myself because I thought I hit a great second shot. I didn't. So there's our first, there's a three putt, right? Part, part three, hole number 980 yards. It's downhill. It's, there's like water down there. You got to clear that. There's a bunker. And I hit it really bad and I leave it short. I'm not finishing my swing, if you guys can see. I didn't know in the moment, but I wasn't finishing my swing very well. So we got this pitch shot up to the green. There's a bunker in front. I play... It way past it because my nightmare situation here is to not finish my swing leave it in the bunker so I just want to get up on the green so we got this coming back 
Looks good. Oh, that would have been fun. Doesn't drop though. So we got this for a bogey, right? Just three putted number eight. Can't have another three putt. But we're going to have another three putt because I'm John Baker and this is Fat Guy Golf. And how dare that happen? All right. I believe that's an opening 44. Played pretty well. Didn't lose anything, really. Uh, made putts. That's the key. You got to make putts, right? All right. Come back for uh, the back nine, part two.